Big snake in the belt. Right off the rip. Let's get it. Let's get it. Strip locked down. Vinegar drops to get the set of the cop pounds. My niggas hop downs when the heat's on. Throw the beats on. I'm a clown. I'm in a cabinet space and I ain't having an ace. I got a peak P7 in the hazardous place. They gave chase. Now I'm battling fate. My name Bond. That's James Bond. 007 is the Monica. A bitch named Monica. She ordered me a tonic. Get juice shaking. I stir. Honor the truce. I get blowed in a concept car. When I get hard, she pull a dagger out. Now she out to spar. I throw the bitch out the whip and then the clock gets sparked. I'm cold as a winter in Glasgow, Alaskan snow You Russian niggas should've never asked for more You want money, power, control But British intelligence keep telling them You niggas isn't rational I'm just sitting around the world in an Aston note I'm in a bar telling anecdotes, passing notes The first to act, last to know That's why they hire me James did some real bad things, it's fake fiery Niggas trying to torture the king? Well keep trying me Before you see him sell out the queen, a nigga dying Be I clap when you acting bad, that shit irony The Deutsch with a silencer, don't know if it's fire or real British niggas never retire, we do it tirelessly Only got one shot, so make it a golden gun Catch him while he golfing, bow, we got a hole in one Niggas overnumbered, I'm playing my cards right Them large flights, dropping through rooftops and dark nights Now I'm in the street, shit stank, smoking his dank Now you fucking with a nigga that whip tanks So thanks to my nigga Gorbach, every leave him parked in the street The lock and the squeeze, couple niggas starting to wheeze I never wear my heart on my sleeve, the suave is renegade Drop 20k on the negligee, is my resume The Bally Boots leather made, the queen Big better pay Couple tuck Tuxedos had to go, smell like pepper spray. Natalia on the left of me, wheel on the right in the kingdom. Cup of Hennessy, if I was at my eight, they ain't coming to get what's left of me. My name get erased in the database effectively. My bio get purged, ain't no record of my legacy. But that's a risk I gotta take to keep the unity. The royal fan purity for homeland security. My own man could new to me. A lot of niggas having visions of my eulogy, usually including me. Niggas think I'm actually weak and nervous. Never suspect that I'm a suspect actively reaping murders. Glad to be on the flag of Her Majesty's Secret Service. The mag will be on the rag, I'ma catch him asleep in surface. Bam, it's a casualty. Your chest bare in the cavity. Can't kill me, nigga. Bare insanity. F's up. Live and direct, live and direct. Buffalo, New York is in the building right now. And that is not just me. That is my good friend, Steven, coming through, showing love. Appreciate that, big Steven. Big ups to you, brother. Sorry for uh doing mafia intimidation tactics on you yesterday in the legend stream. It's like, yo, man, I ain't see you in my stream today, brother. We supposed to be brothers. Yo, but uh, big ups to Snake and Steven Appreciate y'all reaching out But wait till round three There's some shit we gotta speak about Nah, I'm just playing Yeah, man Well, you rocking with your host Your captain, your pilot Big Dick Roy, as I'm known on the block by the shorties they really cleaning it up? What you mean? Still look bad to me.
They brought back Shoot the Ship, y'all. We about to get it in. Yadi effing no. I'm excited. I shouldn't be because this game is still trash. But yet, somehow, they got me. Those silly rabbits. At least in terms of the vacant homes, don't think crime has dropped. They bulldoze like 75%. 75% of the bandos? Guess that's why I be driving around and seeing just green patches. Long, 10 mile long stretches of grass. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we've lucked out with a, a lovely losing game, of course. With sweats and jumpy sweats. Here we go. Look at this bullshit. Look. Prone to Zen players. Of course. I mean, usually when they bulldoze that much, I mean, it's probably a good chance that uh, they moving on to what, like gentrifying, right? I would think. Look, these dudes don't even want the fucking zones. They don't even want the zones. They just want to get McGee D, McGee D. All right, here we go. I missed, of course. Of course I missed. I mean, what? Take that shit, bitch. Oh. Who's looking at me? Got him? Noise. Yeah, these clowns don't give a shit about taking A, B, or C. They just care about the KD, KD, KD. So this is going to be the most boring game ever. Fuck happened. Can I help you? Who's shooting at me? They aim his ass. Oh, I see him. I see him. Got one laying down on uh, C. Same way his boyfriend gives it to him with the ass. Enjoy that, bitch. Run. Run, Forrest. Wow, man. I hope I get boosted at least from this bullshit. It's the least they could do, right? Boost me, bitch. Boost me. Push me further, bitch. Look at all these Krona Zen users. Lucky, lucky. Look, watch how his aim works. Okay, well. It's hard to tell on that one, but you'll see it. Secure Bravo. Secure Bravo, Mike. What's up, G? Yeah. Have that. Yeah, back it up. Yeah, still killed me somehow. Look at this. Look. Flashed. Didn't affect him at all. And then he just chops me down. So, yeah, I mean, it don't take a genius to know that you cheating, B. It really don't take no genius. And we still about to... Well, actually, nah, we not about to win because nobody want to take B. Who's shooting? Who's still with apparently? Come on, take B. Don't be a pussy. There you go. I got you. I'm coming through. I'm coming through. I got you, B. They already took C. What a bunch of clowns. Dude, this gotta be this fucking... Let me see here. Thermite. Yeah, that's a no for me, dog. Give me the Semtex back. Oh, this game is so bad. Who the fuck wants to play this shit? It's a mystery to me. I guess here I am playing it. Nobody stopping these dudes. Thanks. Well, hopefully I get boosted. Uh, they bulldozed, yeah, since like 2010. In like 2008, the city looked like Detroit for real, for real. Yeah, it don't always work, though. Gentrification, yeah. I'm doubtful that it will, to be honest. 
have have low expectations, but I mean gentrification just means kicking the brown people out. That's the first step of gentrification. You know, usually they I think they raise the taxes. And you know, niggas can't pay taxes if they get too crazy. Then they houses get auctioned off to rich whites and rich Israelis. Well, yeah, because, you know, if I learned anything from The Wire, it's that the bandos is where a lot of this shit goes down. You know what I'm saying? You knock them shits down. Now, a lot of these uh, crimes don't have a safe hiding spot anymore. Problem about the east side, and it's really sad, but it seems that black don't want to build each other up. You could build an entire neighborhood and within a year it would be destroyed. I think there's a lot of factors for that, though. I mean, I think part of it is culture, but a lot of it is like the reason why, for example, like I'm going to just give you one. Just one one off example, right? If you go to the hood and you go to the local basketball court, nine ninety nine percent of the time. The net has been ripped off, right? Now, I can't say 100% sure, but I think it's safe to say that if you go to like a suburban or countryside white neighborhood, right, with a basketball hoop, guarantee you them kids is ripping the same, they ripping the nets down just as much as the black dudes. The only difference is the city has the budget and cares enough to go in and put up a new net every time it happens. So it's just like one example of how like yes, you got local kids, they're vandalizing shit, yada yada, but I think there's more to it than that. It's a very systemic thing. Why do I still have thermite on? Damn bro, is it just me or this shit crazy loud? Why is it so loud? Black, a lot of times I'm ashamed of my people. I mean, I feel you. I know how you feel. My mother was black. And uh, I can say that I feel that way sometimes, too. And even as an Arab, I'll be ashamed of Arabs, too, sometimes. But at the end of the day, I know there's a lot of systemic shit at work with all this. But yeah, I mean, one thing I'd like to see is I would love to see more black owned businesses in the hood and not just barbershops. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all, always got to be a barbershop or a liquor shop. Yo, what's good, legend? No doubt. You good, dude. You good. Bruh, I forgot how much I fucking hate this game. And it's all coming back to me right now. It's like I got slapped in the... F it's like this game farted directly into my... Directly into my nose with its ass cheek on my face. Just to remind me, yo. This garbage. Ashanti Steaks? Oh, shit. I'm shooting my own dudes. Get out of here, bitch. Yo, LV. What's good, bro? Damn, we was just having a deep ass discussion about gentrification in the black community and then you came in and now all I can think about is Dwayne Dwayne uh, oh bro how do you do it that was like five that was like 5% of what you be doing B and I can't even handle that shit dude this game is ass all right, all right, all right, let's see. Here you go, here you go. Take the Semtex. Boom, you're dead. Good night. <clears throat> I will be the... So much for that. Just thugging it out. He runs the world, bro. Dude, what type of fucking weapons... A mini box? 
This shit killed me so fucking fast. You can't react. Look at this bullshit. Yo, Kevin, Mike, good looks on the sub. I do appreciate that. Good looks on the sub, Kevin Light. Shout out to you, brother. And I'm gonna... I mean, did I say sub? Follow? Nah, that was... Bro, what am I looking at? My bad. Yo, Ojo Snakeos. Good looks on uh, tier one gift sub. Thank you. I'm like, bro, did somebody completely new really just sub me? Oh, my God, dude. I'm about to bust out the fucking... Yeah, I fucking know what it is, man. I'm about to bust out the RPG on these hoes. Fuck these clowns. Had more than enough of you clowns. And now there's a... F okay, hold on. Got something for that, too. Where'd it go? What, you, what you running away? Oh, oh, he shook. Fuck it. Just shoot. I don't even know where I'm at. So confused. Just clear it. I don't care anymore. Alright, here we go. Bye. Bye. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. Here you go, buddy. Bye. Oh, oh, I can't wait to do this. Oh, there you go. There you go, buddy. Knife me. Knife me, dog. Knife me. Knife me. Mac and cheesies. I'm intrigued. Alright, I'm about to get it crack a lacking. Y'all should not have brought back the RPG master. I'm so nice with this shit, bro. Look, they still taking the hit. They still getting it. Fuck out of here. I see you, bitch. I see you, bitch. Yeah, come after me. Come after me, dog. Come after me, bitch. Fuck around with me and get your shit checked. Get G-checked on this bitch-ass block. Who that? Who's shooting? Yo, we winning this one. Once we say that and then lose miserably. Bye. Nobody? For real? Foul. Foul. Bye. Bro, I love hitting motherfuckers with the fucking rocket launch. Oh, it's the only time I have fun in this game. Real shit. Only time I have fun in this shit is with the rocket launcher, B. And I almost forgot. Yeah, yeah. Knife me, bitch. Knife me, bitch. Oh, they got another one. Okay, hold on. I got you. I got you. Cool, cool. That's straight. We good? Where this shit at? Show it to me. Where it at? I see the spy plane right there. Take that out real quick. Alright, man. I'm bored already. Fuck this shit. Bye. Bye. Yeah, there you go. Set that shit off. Come yeah, come this way. Come. Oh, she's seen it. Fucking cunt. Yeah, walk through it, bitch. We taking this shit back right now. It's over. It's over, bitch. Here you go. Come get me. Come get me. Boom! <laughs> love it bro why does it take 15 minutes in this game to throw a fucking what's it called to throw a trophy system it takes 15 minutes to throw a trophy system in this game come on come through there you go yeah I got you dog I got you it's cool. We good. We good. We good, Shake. Who the fuck did that? I don't get it. What happened? Move. Can y'all fucking move out my fucking way, dog? Y'all don't see I'm working on saving the fucking game? Because y'all too ass? Where? Oh, 
I'm so fucking ass, man. Gotta do everything my fucking self. Oh, got a bunch of clutches. Yeah, keep going. There you go. Have fun with that, bitch. I really wanted to win this one. Really, I did, bro. I really did. For real, for real. But it ain't gonna happen because everybody in this game is a fucking... Everyone on my team is stupid, bro. There's no synergy. Sup? Shut up. Here, have that. Yeah, see, look, like, I can get executed in the, in the hottest point on the whole fucking map. And nobody's there to help me out. Nobody gets my back. Like, how are you supposed to play? How are you supposed to play when your team don't give a shit? Yeah, don't kill me, bitch. What the fuck happened to my fucking thing? I had a thing. Here. There you go. There you go. Oh my god, bro. They are for real everywhere. Well, I took it. Y'all welcome. Thanks. Not allowed to move. Not allowed to call in my UAV. Chopper's gone. Don't see it anymore. Where is it? What a waste of time. It's one ass team after another. You can't win a game. You could be scumped, and it don't matter. You could be scumped. You can't win a game if your team is ass. That's just the bottom line. You can't do it. There's no win in the game when your team is ass. Okay, can you move out my way, please? I'm trying to fucking do something. It's like, it's always my own fucking team. They the only ones all up in my fucking grill, dog. Come this way, bitch. Come this way. There you go. Set it off. Set it off, you fucking idiot. Get the fuck out my face with that bullshit. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. Bye. Throwing it, it don't throw it. Look how close I got us. We, I'm so close, dude. I press the fucking button, it don't fire. Story of my fucking life. What is somebody drop a nuke? Of course, cause they all fucking cheating. 197 kills. Tell me that it is humanly possible to do that, even on shipment, 197 kills. How fucking stupid do you have to be to believe that's some legit shit? Reporting. How do I do this shit? Been playing this game for five minutes. I'm about to need a fucking anger management session after this shit. What was his name? Anybody remember his name? 197 kills my ass. Fucking modern ass wall bastard. Who was it? What was his name? How do I even look it up? Because this stupid ass UI was designed by a room full of fucking chimpanzees. <laughs> Fuck it. What's the point? Those reports just go down a tube. They traveled through the tube at three at Mach six for like two miles and then right into the Pacific. Report. Get the fuck out of here. All right, let's see. Get caught up here. Pine Hill Market on Genesee. Damn, I missed a lot. I work in Nork.
the real issue is if there are black owned businesses are putting money back into the community. Yeah, I, I could see what, what you mean. Um, I mean, there's more ways that, to put money back into the community than just giving money. Like, for example, you know, a black owned business can hire from within the community that creates black jobs, right? Uh, and, you know, it inspires, like, of course, you know, you can definitely help get other people uh, to start their own business or you can make connections. Like, you know, if somebody, somebody on the block sells t-shirts and shit, right? Tell them, yo, stop, s damn, this loud. Tell them, stop selling your t-shirts on the block. Stop selling them on Broadway, right? In front of the old, uh, in front of the Burger King. And instead, oh, this is bank. Bank on shipment, this shit about to be cray. Bank that shit, baby. This is a cool mode. I'm gonna explain this to you in a second, Snake. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, like putting people on. Like, yo, you sell t shirts on in front of the Burger King, come into my shop. Sell t shirts in here. You give me a cut, I'll give you promotion. You know what I'm saying? Networking, shit like that. Uh, I work in North. And the women at the shop right got all the rights to the kitchen. Best mac and cheese on the planet. That is sick. So they just go back there and just... They must be heifers by now, bro. Some BBW shorties. Dude, I would love to just have unlimited... Unrestrained access... To, uh... To like some quality soul food. That would be crazy, bro. I'll be out here looking like I don't know, whoever's the fattest person you could think of. Pine Hill Market on Genesee is black owned as well, and they got good food. And they they do got good food, but they got shit service. Which is really disappointing. Greens, mac and cheese, banana pudding, yeah, they got beef ribs, which is dope. Man, this lobby is sweaty. Yeah, tell me about it. You need the new shotgun, the broadside. I don't have it because I don't got a battle pass. You need a battle pass, right? I'm only kind of half playing this right now because I'm trying to get caught up in chat. Uh, for me, uh, mac and cheese is a life chat. You could eat any food forever. For me, Mensa. Yo, I could see why you say that, though, LV, for, for sure. It's up there. I mean, real mac and cheese, not the craft shit. Arabic food made with lamb boiled in tangy yogurt sauce over a better rice. Yeah, it's on point. Men's stuff is on point. Yo, we won, and I didn't do shit. Wagwan, bro. Chris, what's good, brother? Welcome to the stream. Chris G. Stream stand up. If y'all watch YouTube at all, please throw this man a sub. He's my most devoted supportive fan and just an all-around nice dude i've said so many over the top crossing the line jokes about chris in the past and this man has never taken it personal he is not sensitive i fuck with him all the time pause and he just he still rock with me what a boss ye raging out 197 kills yeah my fucking ass 197 kills and I I'm j I just got married to Ashanti. That avatar looked like SAST fake jazz. <laughs> Probably was. Supposed to be a gamer. Report them all. <laughs> yeah. I might as well report them all. Shit. You have like basically reporting people in Call of Duty is just like going to the local Buffalo PD and filing a police report. Like you might as well just be filing a report to a brick wall they ain't gonna do a fucking thing man like in buffalo the rule is anytime you get the police involved you just making a bad situation worse they're not gonna bring anything to the situation except making it worse that's it any anyone i die to gets reported <laughs> because everyone is cheap 
You think I'm being salty, LV? These motherfuckers got Krona Zen controllers, bro. I teach so my kids look me up and figure I'm a streamer, unlimited viewers for 15 years. Yo, I knew I knew another dude like that. He taught for like a brief period of time and then he quit. But uh, true story. He said the same thing. They looked him up one day and now all his former students is on his shit. Oh my god, can I have a fucking second? Why is it taking so long to kill people with this weapon? Alright, we going back. We going back to the mini box. This is my baby right here. When, when shit get difficult, you gotta pull the mini box out. Yeah, keep running. Keep running, fam. Bet you we coming back. Pause. Who shot me? Yeah, I can't kill all these clowns. Yeah, keep sniping, dog. You trash. Look at these fuck. He respawns after I'm murking with the fucking stupid ass knife shit. He respawns and right back at it. What's up, G? Oh, I think I, I fucked up my boy's execution. My bad, y'all. My bad. My bad, dog. There goes Knife Boy. There's always two of them. You know how they say, oh, there's always one. Like, no. When it comes to knife pieces of shit, there's always four. Well, you know, you always got four. There's always that four guys. Them and quick scopers. I think quick scopers, real talk, I don't mean no disrespect to nobody's community, but I really believe quick scopers and knife dudes, combat knife dudes, y'all should all get together in a big room and just fuck each other in the ass to your heart's content, bro. Y'all belong together. <laughs> y'all deserve each other, bro. Noise. Who this clown? It's my people? Okay, cool, cool. <sighs> Counter UAV on deck. Alright, they must have boosted me a little bit because this match ain't nothing like the last few. <laughs> I say as I get fucking obliterated by what? A crossbow. Look, man, look, look. I run around in this game with this shotgun, right? I run around in this game with a shotgun. And typically, I'm not saying always, but most of the time, it takes about two pumps to kill somebody at close range. Boom, -ch boom, -ch to kill somebody. And they got to be accurate. You can't be, you know, you can't be fucking around. It's got to be hella accurate. Throw that shit. There you go. Noise. I got another one in the midst. Got to get back to work. Catching jazz stream. Hey, thanks for stopping by, brother. Have a good night. Hope it goes for you quick. You bugging right now? He in the chat? Who am I talking about? Who's in the chat? What did I say? Is there a quick scoper in the chat? Is that why? Dude, we are getting our asses handed to us right now. This shit cray. Ain't nobody helping me take this shit back. I don't know where they coming from. Anyway, I was in the middle of saying something. What was I saying? Yeah, so it takes two pumps average. Average two shots with the shotgun in this game. To successfully kill somebody at close range, right? Now, in real life, a shotgun at close range, you don't you don't walk away from the first shot. Like, it's over. Your best case scenario is you a vegetable eating through a tube for the rest of your life, right? That's real life. Fair enough. This is a video game. So be it. But here's the thing. If you shot someone close range with a crossbow, I'm pretty sure they they don't just drop dead instantly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
That's shotgun action. You don't see that from a crossbow. So what the fuck is the Call of Duty devs' obsession with these nuclear ICBM crossbows that fucking vaporize you like Star Wars weapons? Whose idea was this? Oh, shit. Fucking asshole. Crossbow, look. Look, watch this. Watch. What crossbow, my G? What crossbow? Tell me. I've seen crossbows. They don't even... You don't even need a license to own them shits. You can buy them at Dick Sporting Goods. Pause. I don't think they lethal like that, dog. They not even effective for hunting deer and shit. Like, even deer, people be fucking... Rocking out with the 12 gauge and shit. You know what I'm saying? Double barrel. Dude, what is going on? This is just such a fucking ridiculous game right now. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god. Somebody trying to fucking knife me, of course. Oh, excuse me. All right, let's get it. Objective Charlie. Y'all ever seen 90 Day Fiance? Don't, if, you, if you don't watch 90 Day Fiance, you fucked up. You should watch it. I don't care if, if it makes you sus. That shit is too good to miss. There's this one Russian cat in 90 Day Fiance. And his bitch... Like her, uh, his bitch's brother, his brother in law <laughs> is this dude named Charlie, and he stays fucking like getting in fights with this dude, arguing with this dude, threatening this dude's life. And every time he says it, he's like shitting on the dude. He's like, I don't want to see Charlie. If I see Charlie, I'm going to kick his ass. Charlie better not mess with me. So now every time I hear that they taking Charlie, I'm like, Charlie! If I see Charlie, I'm going to punch him in fucking face. He don't, he don't use predicates and shit. I don't know if that's the right term. Predicates. The family Chantel. <laughs> Bro, is it just me? Like, I know. Look, look. I know you Porter Rock, LV. And you know. I got, I got love for my Dominicanos and my Dominicanos. I got love for all my Tainos, bro. I cannot help but feel bad for that dude on the family, sh the family Chantel. I forget his name, but I feel job bad for that dude, bro. The shit he goes through, it's not right. It's not right, dude. All right, hold on. Come knife me, bitch. Yeah, come knife me. How? All right, fuck this dude. I'm done with this. Move! Look at this! Fucking idiot! Wait. 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 There you go. Now come knife me. Who? Oh, Who? Oh, Who knife me? Okay, at least they shot me. I'll take that. We take those. Here you go. Come knife me, bitch. Come knife me. Who is it? Where you at? Where the knife do that? I want to see him. It's on site. Oh, fuck! Pedro, that was his name, right? Yeah, they definitely did, bro. It wasn't right how they treated dude. He deserves so much better, bro. You know, his girl, Pedro's girl, <laughs> I'm about to drop spoilers talking about a show nobody even probably knows anything about, but Pedro's girl, dude, I got to tell you, um, where, where? where when i first started watching a a relationship i was like damn she kind of bad but the more i watched of her actions and, and her personality bro i wouldn't fuck that bitch with your dick <laughs> she's so like yo you know she's so primped up and shit yo i bet you the pussy stink bro Cause she is such a scandalous ass bitch. Scandalous. She's so scandalous. 
Come through, come through. Wait, man, what happened to my shit? What's up, G? I got you, don't worry. We winning this one. No more losses. This shit is too close right now. Look at this. Jaff, what's good? Yo, thanks for stopping through, Jaff. I hit you with the follow on here when I seen you followed me. I hit you with a follow, so you good. I'm, a, I'm about to do you one better, brother. Yo, please drop this man a follow if y'all get a chance. He's also on YouTube. I subbed you on YouTube, brother. And I'm about to hit you with a one-month gift sub. How we do. Please forgive me if I say some real wild shit while I'm playing this game because it it awakens the inner, you know, the inner primate in me. The family center. Anyway, let's get it. Snake, I was going to tell you about this new mode, and I'm kind of feeling it. It's kind of cool. Uh, so if you remember Kill Confirmed in Cold War, right? They got kill confirmed in this game too, where you, if you kill one of the ops, you get a dog tag and you got to get as many as you can, right? Thank you for the sub, man. I understand that whole wild stuff on COD. Yeah, that's a good question, Jaff. Do you stream? I forgot to ask. I know Jaff was in my YouTube stream yesterday showing love. He came through. Somebody raided me. It was dope. I didn't even know you could do raids on YouTube. Anyway, so yeah, Snake, they got the um, kill confirmed. You pick up uh, the tag after you kill one of the ops, right? And in this game, they, ha they have the same mode, but they added something. They added a new thing called the bank. So how it works is you kill people on the opposite team, right? And then <clears throat> you collect the tags, but... Those tags is like rings in the Sonic universe. You remember the, the rings in Sonic? However many tags you collect, you got to get them to the bank. There's this little like zone. You got to get into it uh, in order for, for, them, for them tags to count. Otherwise, if you get killed like Sonic, your, your tags spill everywhere. And then the ops can pick them up or anybody can pick them up. So basically, you got to get to the bank. Before it's too late. Who's shooting at me? Who? It's pretty cool. I like it. I thought it was a nice tweak on the kill confirmed thing. I meant to say stream on YouTube. He does. Uh, oh, that's a good question. Yeah, I guess he does. What's up with the new mode? Yeah, so that, I mean, this isn't it, but hopefully I'll get one where you can see what it looks like. It's kind of cool. I've been trying to build a community on YouTube first before I start streaming on Twitch. And that is what they say to do. But you know what? I'll tell you this, Jaff. And you don't got to do nothing you don't want to do. It's just my opinion. Twitch is better in every way, bro. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. It's better in every way. Because, first of all, YouTube is definitely more content driven. It's not nearly as stream driven. Like those long form type things. Like streams and podcasts, they generally do a lot better on Twitch. That's the first thing. Second thing is, I get way more love from the community on Twitch. People on Twitch are happy to hit you with a follow, happy to show you love, drop donos. Like, it's just a tighter community. It's more tight knit. That's two. Thanks for helping me, y'all. Not you, my team, my quote unquote team. Anyway, so what's my point? Uh, the third point that I think is worthy of shot him in the head like three times. Look at this. Look. Look. Shot in the head flashed. How? Cheating. That's how, bro. It's not just me. They're cheating. Anyway, the third and probably the most important reason why I think you should fuck with Twitch over YouTube. Just my opinion. I got... Um, affiliated on Twitch in a few months. The requirements to hit affiliate on Twitch are actually pretty reasonable. 
They're pretty, pretty reasonable stuff. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Fuck out of here. They're pretty reasonable. So. All you need is like, you gotta hit three average viewers. You gotta have three average viewers. You gotta, um, stream a certain amount of hours every week. And then I think the other hardest part is, um, was it a minimum 50 followers, something like that. And if you make the right connections, trust, it's, it's easy. If you make the right connections, it's easy. I know Twitch is better, but it's harder than growing Twitch. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, I do, I have been growing faster. I'm not going to front. I grow fast on YouTube, so I can't even front you, right? But I feel like, yeah, you might grow faster, but those followers on Twitch are more quality. It's higher quality followers on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? Where this clown go? Douchebag. Hello. Dude, this weapon is kind of not doing its job right now. Might have to take a look at it. Um, I know Twitch is better. It's harder to grow on Twitch as well. Hit affiliate than nothing but partner. Nothing but partner? You saying like, yo, partner, I can't front. Partner on Twitch is hard to get. But look, getting monetized on YouTube right now is f like you might as well go try to climb Mount Everest with no preparation and no experience because basically damn i'm on one right now basically you gotta hit 10 million views crossbows dude i take your crossbow and stick it up your pussy anybody using a crossbow if you're in my chat i forgive you but other than that take your crossbow and stick it up your pussy you a bitch. Anyway, my bad. YouTube talking about to get monetized on YouTube, you need 10 million views on shorts. And I realize that shorts do considerably better than long form content. But bro, 10 million views is fucking ridiculous. Come on. That is absolutely ridiculous. Fuck. They hit me with the tag team. Pause. <laughs> Getting partner on YouTube is like trying to skate up a mountain. Facts. Yeah, man, it's fucking nuts. I don't know what they were smoking when they came up with those rules. I think 10 million shorts views is fair. Like, damn, bro, what do I look like? Fucking Eminem? You got to be fucking Michael Jackson to get a... Shut up, bitch. Yeah, walk walk that off. Biatch. It's all defeating 55 concurrent. What you mean? I don't understand. Fucking snipers. All right, let's get dirty. Balls. Yeah, man, it's just fucking ridiculous. I'm sorry, but I don't see it. I don't see it being feasible at all. I really don't. Shit. Uh, take you fucking long to reload. All right, let's fuck with the mini bock. Let's see if the mini bock. The Chewbacca. What is it? The Ch Ch Chewbacca blame. That new chopper big enough to knock down Chewbacca. Well, we definitely losing this shit. No doubt about that. Come get me, bitch. Where you think they gonna come from? Shut up, bitch. Fuck out of here. Let me guess. A crossbow. An RPG? Where he mad or something? He mad because I hit him with the shit? Look at this. Look at this. Bit skittish, dog. Who are you shooting at? Okay, there was somebody behind me. Fan though. I didn't even see that. 
Damn, this fucking, this is never going. This ain't, this ain't happening, B. This is not happening. I have no clue why these gun names are not the real names. I was wondering that too, but I guess like apparently somebody owns the rights to those names. Now I'll tell you what I don't get. Honestly, more than that, what I don't get is if somebody owns the rights to these gun names, right? And they couldn't like, they couldn't get them. They couldn't get the rights to these weapons, right? Then how did they get them before? Because like back in the day, they used to use the gun names. Like I, I distinctly remember they used to use them shits. Fuck off. Got it. Oh, they just going to shoot the shit down. Here we go with the fucking Krona Zen users. Look at these clowns, bro. Why am I even trying to take B? I don't even like B all like that. I really don't. I don't care about B. I to tell you, I really don't. What's up, G? Dude, the mini Bach is... The mini Bach is the joint. This is Bay. Mini Bach is the shorty I'm asleep with at night. Fucking shotgun at. What kind of shotgun? Is this the new shit? This is the broadside? Nobody, ever, nobody, no wonder everybody keep telling me to get this shit. Look at this. What type of shotgun do all that shit? You ever seen a shotgun that could do that? This fucking game is so ass, dude. Fucking pricks. Now I'm dead. Lashed myself. Whatever. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Keep it moving. Dude, how is my team so ass? I killed someone and I couldn't even see. What you think you're going to do? Yeah, keep trying that bullshit, bitch. Fuck out of here. Animals taking Charlie. No, they ain't. Let me tell you. Oh well, guess they are. That's a silly amount. I I have no. Okay, they Activision though. Just pay for it, man. Activision is the cheapest fucks on earth. Three thousand devs, three years, and this is what we got. This game is boo boo. It's booty juice. That's why they got dwindling, uh, like the people playing it, according to Steam. See, they they, they don't want to let you know the actual numbers of people that's playing this game, right? Activision, they don't want to share that because they know it looks wild bad, right? But Steam is just, Steam happens to be one platform where Steam keeps track of it themselves, and they make it public information. And the numbers just been. <whistles> look like the fucking Black Monday stock market crash. Hey, yo, LV, didn't you say you, uh, I don't understand how they made a game worse than 2019. I never played it, but I believe you. I believe you. I know a lot of the YouTubers that was playing this game went back to 2019. For me personally, if I'm going to play Call of Duty, I would rather play Cold War. But I figure I'll throw this in the mix from time to time, like pepper it in, because I know there's a little bit of an audience for it. But even then, there's a lot less than it used to be. Yay. Schoolhouse, as I call it. Yo, LV, I don't know if you still here, but uh, you said you was a uh, was it a geography teacher? You was a geography teacher, right? Got him. I'm a banker right now. Yo, Snake, if you still watching, this is bank. This is the bank right here. You gotta get your tags in there. I'm just like, if 
I get a tag, I'm going back and banking that shit instantly. I'm not wasting no time. Give me your shit too, bitch. Bank that. Who's shooting? They shooting. Oh, made you look. Oh. <laughs> Try to fly through the air like Superman. Try to play Superman and end up super dead. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. This is the one. We winning this shit. We've lost the lead. R right? We've lost the lead. I just had to say something. How, how was that so easy? I got to watch this back. I'm, I find this. I'm skeptical, bro. What? All right, whatever. He shot me in the head. Fair enough. All them tags, bitch. I'm banking it. Banking, we banking all that. Oh, no, we ain't. No, we ain't. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, you got it? Get that nigga Rex. Cold War was a diamond in the rough, in my opinion. It's the only good card game in the modern era. I agree, bro. And you know what? I got to give credit to this game about one thing. And it's like, the, this is literally the only positive thing I can say about this game. After playing this game and then, and then going back to Cold War, it really made me appreciate Cold War. Because I hated Cold War, bro. I hated it like I hate this game now. But after you see what true ass really smells like, you know what I'm saying? That was slick. I moonwalked his ass. Bank it. Put something in the bank for a rainy day. This is all they do. Just this is fun for you. Just lay down, taking it up the ass while you snipe people. So fun. You're a true talent. Your mother must be very proud. What's up, G? Too fuck. Let's fucking go. Take all that. Thank you. And then I died. <laughs> died to my own shit. Embarrassing. Ain't there a clown over here still? Did you get this clown? Oh. After this in Vanguard, Cold War is the COD game that should get second year updates. And it won't. What's up, Chris? Chris dropping sus emojis like you do. Oh, sup, sup with this. Word up. Don't mind if I do. Who down here? Somebody down here. Yeah, I already know. So this clown, he needs to get his buzz killed if he hasn't yet. I'm over it, B. Fuck. Yeah, there you go. Fuck out of here, you fucking clown bitch. Pussy. Who's shooting? Oh, they got him. So who is aiming at me, dog? Somebody is aiming at me right now. Where you at? Yeah, fucking made a titanium adamantium vest over here. Come on, I gotta get to the bank. I gotta get to the bank. There you go. Let's take the lead. Let's fucking go. What's up, Jay? I mean, I shot him in the head like four times. Thanks. <laughs> Pulling the rabbit out of hat. Oh. Can I help you? How? Like, this fucking weapon is ass, bro. Look at this. Everyone's running around with blueprints. And they literally admitted, Activision admitted that people who use blueprints get better, like, they, they hook them up in the game. They have less latency. They got higher TTK. Or lower, rather. Like, they give them every advantage. Shit, I gotta bank something quick. This guy is just a real talent. I gotta give it to him. Fucking five tags. Should've just went to the fucking bank. 
We losing because of that. I fucked up, bro. I shouldn't have gone that deep in the enemy territory. Get all of them. Get all of them. There you fucking go. That's what I'm talking about. I want that one next. Got it. I'm banking it. I'm banking it. Don't kill me. All right, cool, cool. We back. We back. Thing about Cold War was, even though people camped, I was able to compete and still do better than the campers. Yeah, I mean, campers never prosper in Cold War. They definitely prospering like a motherfucker in this game. No issues with the campers in this game. They just living it up like Ja Rule. All my campers will be living it up. Hey! Cookie Monster! <clears throat> What time is it? Eight thirty. Probably do another two matches and call it a night. So the thing about Cold War is that, <clears throat> first of all, they got Nuketown, best map in the game, and there's only so many places you can camp in in, uh, in Nuketown, right? So it's pretty easy to avoid the camping spots. Um, secondly, the other maps they got, a lot of them, I mean, they pretty big, Paul's. But they're not crazy big. They're relatively easy to get accustomed to. Yeah, you know I mean, think about Cold War was even though people can Yeah, so <clears throat> that being the case, right? Um, oh, I should have knew. I should have knew, bro. Where's my senses? I'm rusty because I really don't play this game anymore. I haven't played this game in a long time. Like, <clears throat> I don't play this game off stream. I don't play it on, like, usually even on stream. What's all this red shit? What is this, some Valentine's Day shit? They got rose petals and hearts and shit? What is this? Damn. Oh, man, it's not going so well at all. What's up, G? Apparently, I got a weapon challenge completed. Somebody's shooting me in my riot shield. Nah, but I agree. I mean, I like Cold War. Cold War is kind of my jam, to be honest. I fucks with it, you know? Stupid fucking shotgun. This Fucking shotguns, bro. Shotgun this, you ho. Yeah, come through, come through. I've never been more upset about pre-orders than this in Vanguard. I regret buying either of them. I am so thankful that I did not buy Vanguard because I've seen how truly, truly booty juice it is. It looks absolutely terrible. Uh, I never played 2019. I mean, honestly, before Cold War, I was never really even that much of a Call of Duty player, to be honest. Like, on 360, I was in a crisis, too. Obviously, GoldenEye back in the day, but like, you know, this... That was beautiful. have this oh, ain't nobody gonna walk past it and yo what's up with the playstation vr too y'all seen this i don't know if y'all care about vr gaming 
very much. But PlayStation PlayStation 4 had a pretty successful VR, right? VR kit. Oh, shit. Dude, y'all just gonna let this motherfucker sit behind the box? Anyway, I was waiting for the PlayStation VR to just, like, get sold out, you know? Pre-orders just totally getting wiped out. But no. They still got pre-orders, and it's like, it might actually be released now. I think we might be past the release date. Actually. Dude, I cannot believe this motherfucker is still standing by them fucking boxes. Just standing what, right? I can't, I don't know this fucking map, dog. Oh, somebody finally killed his ass. Thanks. Great. Anyway, um, they want crazy money for the PlayStation VR, but I gotta tell you, uh, if it wasn't so overpriced, I would actually consider getting it. Because I want a VR, like, I would love a true VR experience, you know? I've never seen a really good one. Fucking assholes. Want to get one on my birthday since it seems like it'll be a, an easier system to use. I mean, obviously, you got to wait till they get more games on it and shit, you know? Got to wait for the games. Because right now, there's really not much. Ho, ho, ho. Who? I'm on some owl shit out here. I'm as wise as the old owl plus the gold child. Fucking trophy systems. Oh my god. New hard point. New hard point. Pause. Lucky my birthday is in the summer, so I should be able to get that new Walking Dead game. Hey, man, that's what's up. Y'all hope you stream it. I'll check it out. Walking Dead was such a good show for like, uh, for like five seasons. And it kind of fell off. I'm not going to front. What's up, dude? Oh, I executed someone. Well, I was about to anyway. I was wanting to do that. Come on, dog. Y'all some dumbass. Look. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful, bro. Oh, that was so beautiful. What's up, G? <laughs> oh, come on. Just let me do it once, you assholes. All right, hold on. We about to turn this game around real quick. First things first. Second things second. Get the SAE popping. Third things third, get the UAV popping. And onward and upward we go, ladies and gentlemen. This shit about to be a whole new other format. Dude, I don't want that. You prick. What's up, G? Well, there was like three cats standing right there. Bunch of morons. Ninkum poops. I'm on season six now. I'm getting bored of it. So I see what you mean. Yeah, like, okay, without getting too much into spoilers, right? I don't want to get too crazy with the spoilers, but I'll say this about The Walking Dead. Um, the governor was such a good villain. And the reason why the governor was such a good villain is because I believed that somebody like that could come to power. Like, he was a smooth talker, he was well-dressed, he was sharp, and he did a lot of good for his people. Like, in spite of being evil, he did a lot of good for his people. I could see why people would rally behind him, right? But the, the villains that came after that, it just was never the same. They just seemed goofy, like they're one-dimensional to me. Yo, these motherfuckers blowing up in the hearts. Chris, what did you do? Did you hack the game, Chris? You got motherfuckers blowing up in the heart emojis, Chris. I know this was you. Only you would do that. And walk through it right, right there, right there. Set it off. Set my shit off. Thank you. 
Who's next? No? Well, good for us. Now, somehow we losing it now. Great. Well, let's just go get killed. Get this over with. Oh, you know it's over, bro. You bottlenecked. He knew. He knew it was over. He was mad, too. You know he was mad. What's up, G? Bro, I'm over here riot shielding motherfuckers with no shame. Straight foul. Shane, yeah. Shane was... I mean, look what happened to dude's career. You know, what more do you need to say? Just look what happened to his career after that. Bernthal, what's his name? The actor. The play Shane. Like, first he was the Punisher, and then he was just in every fucking thing. Now he's in all these blockbuster movies. Like, dude is the truth. He's a really good actor, so... And Shane definitely was just like a unique character. Like, he was the type of dude where you could understand his his machinations. Like, I guess my point is, without getting too deep into it, like, I feel like I like villains where there's layers to their character where you can sort of understand their motivations, their, their machinations, and what makes them do what they do. Because that just feels more like real, a realistic person. It's, it feels like a real person to me. You know what I'm saying? Prick. But like, you know, without getting too crazy into the spoilers and shit, Negan, to me, personally, is not a believable enemy. Because I don't think anybody would follow that dude in real life. Nobody would follow that dude. He don't seem like a credible leader to me. He just seems like, oh, he's a crazy, you know, kooky, likes to kill people, ah, makes it fun. Like, his system doesn't help his people, his little system of government it's not helping nobody except really him you know so i just don't see it like with the governor he had people under him who were living very well like the people in the under the governor's you know rulership were living very well they were comfortable they basically were were, were sheltered from the realities of what the world was like outside so to me it just seems more realistic that Somebody who could provide that type of environment would be somebody that they follow and rally behind. You know what I'm saying? Like he was a true politician. Just rewatched Walking Dead, huge fan. So how far did you get? You watched the whole thing? I've seen Negan, he seems more fit for a dark comedy. Yeah, exactly. Like he's not a credible bad guy. Like to me, there's just no reason why, even if he could, even if somebody like that in the apocalypse, in a dystopian like world, could gain as much power as he gained just by sheer brute force, it wouldn't take long before somebody put a, put a gun to the back of his head. Like his right hand man would have just dealt with him. You know what I'm saying? Like they would have cooled him sooner or later, sooner than later, you know? And, you know, we can see this, like, if you look at history, which I think what I liked about Walking Dead is that I really liked how a lot of what you see in it kind of mirrors history. Like, it mirrors early human history of, like, developing civilizations from nothing, you know? Going from, like, tribes to, <clears throat> to like, an industrious sort of city type thing. Anyway... I'm off for the tangent. But yeah, so like to me, if you if you look up the most bloodthirsty kings, the most bloodthirsty rulers and generals in history, you know, if they didn't take care of their people under them properly, it didn't last long, you know? It never lasted long. If people ain't eating under you, it's a wrap. They're not going to stand by and just let you rule over them for that long. Just because you scary or whatever. Because you intimidating. Negan is literally a Fallout main character. Yeah, I was I would have said Bioshock, but that's kind of like in the same, same lane. So that works. What time is it? 
I got one more. Negan was a great reminder of people don't change. I guess agree to disagree. My dog is named Negan. He a husky? Yeah, I mean, I just... Like, how would you define Negan in the in the world that we live in, right? According to the to the lore of Walking Dead, he used to be a car salesman. So the thing about a car salesman is if they're good at it, then they are very good at speech, right? They're very verb verbiose. They have good candor. They can sell sell you on an idea very well. Do you get that from Negan? Like what I've seen of him, I don't get that from him at all. I've never heard him make like a really compelling argument for anything he does. The governor, he was compelling. He was a good talker. He had some candor. I believed him. I believed him. He seemed more like a car salesman to me than Negan does. Sheba, no doubt. Yo, it's interesting you say that because the legend Jazz Cat X, who is currently lurking in the building, um, his his dog is my executive producer, and he happens to be a Sheba as well. So interesting. Yeah, everyone else's shotgun works perfectly, but mine just don't do a goddamn thing. Get them shits. Uh-oh. I got it. I think I stuck his dumb ass. Pause. Boy, he just walked away like a bitch. He's always that. Oh, shotguns is so ass. Cool, cool, cool. We good, we good. Negan ruled purely by force, bro. Yeah, but I guess that's my point is like that don't I don't believe it. <laughs> like I just don't believe it. In real life, I just don't see it. Because sooner or later, like especially I mean Negan's Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll be dropping some crazy spoilers right now. <laughs> Yo, that was such a... I'm not going to get into I don't want to fuck up with the spoiler. I don't want to spoil it for my mans. Ten years, bro, there's no fucking way. No way. Has it been that long? Am I that old, bro? No way. That shit can't be more than five years. I just don't believe Negan. I guess that's really the only point I'm really trying to make is that I don't believe Negan. He's not believable. Dude, get the tags, you idiot. Oh my God, is that enough? Is that enough? <laughs> yeah, nice shot, bitch. Dude, this is a close fucking game. Going this shit. Fuck! Every time I go to grab one of them shits, this is what happens. Yeah, he just washed both of us and walked through a fucking thermite. Very fair. Very fair. Bye. Look at these bodies ragdolling and shit. <laughs> Sometimes this game is worth it just for that. Who's in here? Who's shooting at me? They shooting. Oh, made you look. Got him. 
Nice. Nice. That was a quick round. I might have to go one more. Bro, is it just me or time going slow as shit? I think we're going to raid real close because she raided me once. I'm younger than most of you. Probably. Most people are. I'm only I'm only 2000 and I'm 2472 years young, brother. Gandalf ain't got shit on me. I knew about Glenn, but I didn't know nothing about Abraham. Yo, Jaff, do you read the comics? You ever read the comics? Can I talk about that spoiler now since it's already out in the open? Can I talk about it? Because <laughs> I got some commentary. I got some criticisms of that too. Mute that shit. Never read the comic, but I heard they different. Not as different as you think. Um, what am I doing? A lot more similarities and differences. Shit. All right, there we go. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, Glenn dies in the comics very much the same way. And uh, nobody else died in that scene. And when Glenn died in the comics, it was very, very heartbreaking, you know? It was really heartbreaking. But in the show, I don't know. I don't want to spoil nothing if it's important to you, you know? Shit, I missed. Got him. I want that tag. I want. Hey, what the? F what happened to the tag? Hey, yo, where's my snare? Yo, Dre, where's my tag? Shit. Some of the stuff they added to the uh, show that wasn't in the comics, I thought was actually better. Like, I'm assuming this ain't a spoiler. This was in season one. At the end of season one, they go to the FCC, right? And they go through that whole thing with the FCC. I thought that was a really good, that was a really good plot point, you know? And it did not happen in the comics. That whole, that whole thing is unique to the, um, unique to the TV show. Yo, this little lane right here, this little crate, is clutch, bro. Oh, shit. Who's shooting at me? I don't really know if I'm even gonna still watch for a while. No doubt. Well, if you decide to. <clears throat> Basically, like, I was pretty much a dedicated viewer of that show. CGI sucks. That's true, and they used to use it sparingly, but I didn't really watch the later seasons, so I don't know if they just started going ham with it, you know? But yeah, um... Like, I used to watch it diligently, and then when the Negan storyline came around, I tried following it, but I just, I couldn't believe that character. I couldn't believe the Negan character. It just, it wasn't suspended my disbelief. So I kind of fell off and I stopped watching it pretty much. I don't even like the actor, honestly. It's like, oh my god, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, he's so good, he's so perfect for Negan, like, maybe he is, and it's just a shitty character then, but, I don't know, he don't seem that good of an actor to me, as Negan, 
Well, well, what we got here? Come on, Rick. Like, he don't even sound like he takes the shit seriously as an actor. He sounds like he's just parodying himself when he's doing that role. This little piggy went to market, Rick. Have I seen Breaking Bad, bro? Who hasn't? Breaking Bad is top two. I only put it under the Sopranos. Only the Sopranos, that's it. Let's effing go. Damn, these are some quick matches. I guess I'm gonna call that a stream. Yeah, man, I've seen Breaking Bad. Better Call Saul and El Camino, the movie they did. I've seen the whole shit, bro. I'm fully caught up. Anything Vince Gilligan does, I'm going to watch it with with adoring, adoring Dick Ryder eyes. Pause. Guess you can't really pause that. I love how Breaking Bad shows the fall at the end. You know, a lot of people was complaining that. When when the when the Breaking Bad oh by the way spoilers apparently when the Breaking Bad finale dropped a lot of people was complaining online that uh they didn't feel like <clears throat> um Walt got his just desserts like he didn't he didn't really pay he didn't have catharsis for what everything he did but I felt like well he lost his family and he lost his empire. And he even lost his money, mostly. <clears throat> but if he didn't get back the people that took his money and set Jesse free, nobody would have, like, it would have been even more worthy of complaint, wouldn't it? Like, everybody would have been even more pissed. That ending had me hyped. Like, I was like, yo, this is the shit. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, I'm going to give a few quick shout outs. I want to give a shout out to Jaff, <clears throat> my boy Jaff Easy Bots. He streams on YouTube. Please do drop him a sub. Very good dude. Drop him a follow as well on Twitch. Shout out to Oh Snake O's. Thank you for the gift sub, brother. Uh, Steven, my Buffalo companion. Appreciate you, brother. Hope you uh, got out of work and you home safe. Uh, Chris G Stream great dude he's on youtube if you on youtube follow him he will follow you back and he will make all of your streams he's a really good dude that's chris with a k k-r-i-s space g like gangster space uh stream s-t-r-e-a-m drop him a sub on youtube you will not regret it and he has a pretty he got a pretty bustling fan base too he's kind of killing it right now <clears throat> LV baby 86 one of my favorite current YouTube uh excuse me one of my current favorite streamers he's on Twitch he streams occasionally not as much as I'd like him to to be honest cuz I'm really I really do genuinely enjoy his stream it's a nice vibe it's a cool atmosphere and he's really funny and he's just really like organic he's really he's really himself you know what I'm saying so check him out drop him a follow um, uh, Packed Punch on YouTube. I give him a shout out. He dropped me a raid yesterday. I was hella clutch. What a boss. <clears throat> Check him out on YouTube. He does Call of Duty zombie content. Yo, thank you for tuning in, Jeff. I really appreciate it. He gets his kid his money and he saves Jesse. Yeah. And I mean, it's like, okay, even if I'm just the last thing I'm going to say about it, it's the last thing I'm going to say. Like, you could argue, okay, he didn't really pay the price for what he did. And that's fine and all. But, like, it depends what type of show you're trying to make. Like, if you're trying the to make it. Me like that too. <laughs> Widow showing up in the last second. <laughs> yeah, like, if you if your goal is to make a show um, that's, like, Shakespearean, where there's, like, good and evil and good wins, then cool. But Breaking Bad was aiming for, like, some level of realism and the truth is, in real life, people don't get they come up in like all the time. Sometimes they just, you know, they they get 
they they win. Like sometimes evil wins. It happens probably more often than not, frankly. So I think like it depends the type of story you're trying, trying to tell. You know what I mean? Uh, Widowmaker198 does YouTube content as well. Modern Warfare content on YouTube. So drop him a sub. Hit him with a follow on Twitch as well. He does Twitch sometimes. He He's a... Uh, He's got ALS. He got Tourette's. Nah, but I'm just playing. But he he does do uh, Twitch streams occasionally. <clears throat> He's a good dude. Last but not least, I said this yesterday. I know I know you heard it, Jeff. To quote <laughs> Green Day, "Nice guys finish last." Um, I just wanted to say um, on YouTube, Jazz Cat X. Here, I'll even drop it in chat like I do sometimes. This dude is not just my favorite personal favorite streamer and a good friend, but I can honestly say he's genuinely funny. I'm not just gassing him. Really funny, good content. Everybody in here who has watched his stream, of which most of us have. I know Widow has. I know Chris has. I know Snake does. We all watch his stream. We'll all vouch. It's not just like, it's more than just he's my friend, so I'm... So I'm gassing him like the dude is legit funny and uh, and just fun to watch. It's a great stream to even just have on in the background, even if you're doing some. Um, otherwise, you know, you you get some yucks out of it. So I highly recommend it. You don't even have to like the games he plays. Just check it out. He'll be going live in about one hour. An hour and two minutes. So that's 10 p.m. Eastern time on YouTube. Highly, highly recommend you check it out. Tell them I sent you. That'll that'll give me an ego boost. Much needed. <clears throat> so yeah, besides that, F's up, Yadi. No, thanks for everybody who tuned in. Um, I guess we're gonna raid. Let's see here. Hold on. I'm gonna try to raid Clo here with my 1.2 active chat members. Try to uh, raid somebody. All three of us. <clears throat> but yo, big ups to y'all for tuning in. I really do strongly appreciate it. Y'all all my heroes. No cap. Raid channel. Raid Shadow Legends. <clears throat> Raid Shadow Le Ah! <clears throat> My voice is fucked up. I've been smoking too much. Raid Shadow Legends. Right, hopefully this chick is still streaming. Here we go. Yadi, no F sub. 800 block. Let's go stand up. Bills Mafia, Buffalo stand up, East Side stand up, West Side stand up. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen, and let's get it.